poliovirus has now been found in seven different wastewater samples in two adjacent counties north of New York City. Polio was once one of the nation's most feared diseases, which was declared eliminated in the United States in 1979, more than two decades after vaccines became available. But it seems like polio could make a comeback because of the anti-vaxxers, which is completely their decision, but these are just the facts. That being said, let's go through some facts that you may not know about polio. Polio is a disease that spreads from person to person, mainly through the fecal oral route or through contact with infected saliva. The virus enters the mouth and multiplies in the throat before entering the bloodstream and attacking nerve cells, which lead to muscle weakness or complete or partial paralysis. The polio virus invades the nervous system and can cause paralysis in a matter of hours. There is no cure for polio, but it can be prevented with immunization, which is usually given for the first time at two months old, then again at four months, and then between the ages of six to 18 months, and then the last dose is between the ages of four and six years old. The disease is most prevalent in areas of low sanitation, poor hygiene, and inadequate vaccination coverage. As a result, polio mainly affects children under five years old because of their poor hygiene practices. We know that the virus can cause paralysis, but do you know what the odds are of becoming paralyzed if you were to catch polio? The odds are one in 200 cases lead to paralysis, which is a very high amount. So it is up to you as a parent or individual if you want to vaccinate your child against this virus since the odds are not the best. Now let's dive into a little bit of history about polio. Polio is an ancient virus which has crippled and killed humans for centuries. Etchings on Egyptian vessels show people with withered legs on crutches. Of course, back with the Egyptians, there were no vaccines, and so the virus would flourish through civilization, killing thousands, if not millions of people every year. While it affected children and adults around the world for centuries, the first known clinical description of polio is by British doctor Michael Underwood, and that was not until 1789 and it was formally recognized as a condition in 1840 by German physician Jacob Hein. In the early 1950s, the first successful vaccine was created by US physician Jonas Salk. Salk tested his experimental killed virus vaccine on himself and his family in 1953, and a year later on 1.6 million children in Canada, Finland and the USA. The results were announced on the 12th of April, 1955, and Salk's inactivated polio vaccine was licensed on the same day. The vaccine consisted of a weakened form of the virus that could not cause polio, but still induced an immune response from the body's natural defenses. By 1957, annual cases dropped from 58,000 to 5,600. And by 1961, only 161 cases remained. In 1961, Albert Sabin developed another type of vaccine with live but weakened strains of the polio virus that could be taken orally instead of injected with needles into the muscle tissue. There is a lot of research that goes into developing vaccines and they take time to produce, which means we cannot always predict when the new outbreak will happen. This is why it's important for us to think about getting the vaccination for ourselves or our children so that we can stop future outbreaks before they happen. A smaller portion of people with polio virus infection will develop other more serious symptoms that affect the brain and the spinal cord. That includes paresthesia, feelings of pins and needles in the legs, meningitis, which occurs in about one of 25 people with polio, and paralysis which occurs in about one of 200 people. A major outbreak in New York City in 1916 killed over 2,000 people. And the worst recorded US outbreak was in 1952, which killed over 3,000 people. Many who survived the disease faced lifelong consequences, 
deformed limbs, meant they needed leg braces, crutches or wheelchairs. And some needed to use the breathing devices like the iron lung, an artificial respirator invented for treatment of polio patients. You now know how deadly the polio virus can be and it can easily be prevented through getting the vaccination. But it has started to make a comeback in the USA very slowly because of those individuals who avoid getting the vaccine, which is completely their decision. As we know in this world, today a virus can spread faster than expected. And of course, it is everyone's own decision to get the vaccination or not. Either way, do your own research and keep yourself safe. And that's it guys. Thank you for listening to this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button below. Until next time, peace out.